Welcome everyone to Silent Hunter 4, Moles the Pacific Evo Missions, All the Rising Sun. Today we'll be starting a brand new campaign. <laughs> By the way, I'm Codraven 1728. Today we'll be starting a brand new campaign. Uh, in the... Yeah, I know. There we go. Apologies, we got a little bit of maintenance to do. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. A little bit of maintenance, because my Twitch chat stopped working. Anywho. So yeah, we're going to be doing a brand new fleet boat campaign instead of the U-boat campaign I was uh, practicing on. <laughs> I was really testing to see if it, if something that Fall the Rising Sun didn't really support if it worked anyway. Uh, kind of worked. I found out that the M42 semi-automatic 37mm flat gun is bugged. But its upgraded counterpart, the uh, the third 37mm flat gun you get that I... I don't remember what it's called exactly. I think the game calls it a twin-barreled 37 even though the semi-auto I think is also twin-barreled. Oh no, it's not actually. No, it isn't. So yeah, the twin-barrel uh, semi-automatic 37 millimeter gun. It works properly, so if we do, when we do continue our U-boat campaign, uh, I'll just have to upgrade the flat gun when it becomes available in October. Anywho, we're now on to <laughs> our uh, well what uh, we were planning on doing today. Which is play with the... Well, it would be the Narwhal class, but it's, we're gonna roll for the Nautilus. And I believe... Uh, I actually believe uh, Nautilus was actually in refit. And I believe on its way back to the Pacific on December 7th, 1941. So it is not available at the start of the uh, start of the game. It is available though, beginning of 1942, uh, a little over 20 days later. See, Narwhal class is available. So it will be based out of Pearl Harbor, Narwhal class. If we don't roll, uh, there are two boats that we can possibly roll. Narwhal and Nautilus. If we don't roll Nautilus, I'll redo it. And I'll redo it until we get Nautilus. Right. Captain name is pretty standard at this point. Nothing really crazy. any frames? I haven't been really paying attention to that. Twitch says everything's working, so I'm going to trust Twitch. Alright, 50-50 chance we roll it first try. Nautilus. There we go. Narwhal class submarine. I didn't even have to do any, uh... Future me is not going to have to do any weird editing with the uh, highlight later on Twitch, assuming everything's working. Oh, we're actually supposed to report for duty at Pearl Harbor uh, in Hawaii no, longer, no later than January 15th. Interesting. When I, when I tried this the first time, it actually started me on January 1st. Huh. Welcome back. While we still hold the base here, that is. It seems that the Japanese don't waste any time. They've taken Hong Kong, 
landed on the Thai coast and also on Malaya, where they've pushed the British south toward Singapore. Our allies deployed their battleship force to counter the landings, but it was promptly sunk by Jap bombers based in Indochina. Thus the Japs have gained control of all air and sea lanes in the South China Sea. Obviously the next target will be Singapore, and there's little hope to hold them back from taking the city. The Philippines were attacked with multiple landings on the north and south parts of Luzon, forcing the mixed U.S. local defenses to abandon Manila, including our submarine base there, and retreat into the Bataan Peninsula. For the moment, our troops are holding back the Japanese, but we don't know for how long they can continue and what the supply situation is. It has been suggested that submarines be used to supply the troops and evacuate key personnel from the region. So please, make all preparations pending your orders. January 15th, 1942, Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. I don't remember what the T and the H stand for. Oh no, Territory of Hawaii, excuse me. I do remember what it stands for. Hawaii's not a state yet. Alaska isn't either, from what I remember. Uh... Right. First thing we're gonna do... If I can find... If I can find the right... Uh, is it the bookshelf? No, it's the clock. Is it? Oh. Book? Book. Save game. Oh yeah, you can see my, uh, me testing the 37mm anti-aircraft gun and stuff. Right. So it's just an easier save name instead of me having to type out Nautilus every time. Alright, next is going to be our realism settings. Uh, yeah, I kind of wish there was an in-between. Like, I could ask the uh, weapons officer to do something so that he's not completely useless on my boat because of me turning that on. But yeah, as soon as I turn on manual targeting system, I don't know if the weapons officer actually does anything in terms of uh, affecting uh, firing solutions. But if I turn the manual targeting system off, then we basically get auto aim. You know, I can still manipulate it using the gyro, but you know, like I said, I kind of wish we got an in between where I could ask him, uh, "Hey, can you?" Uh, Give me an approximate range, or I, well, I can already do range with the, uh, yeah, like an approximate speed or approximate uh, angle on that. But I can already do range by doing the, uh, you know, I say that the mod kind of already does that for you. If you ask him to identify the target, he'll he'll ID it for you, and then you can ask him to. Uh, you can ask the watch officer for a nearest visual contact, although he'll give you range and speed, so you have to divide that by three to get yards. Right. What else? We can go look at our boat. Here is Nautilus. Now, you may notice something. This right here. This is partly this is partly this is the main reason why I'm playing this mode. Oh. Uh oh. Frames? There, one second. What's going on here? 
just dropped a whole bunch of frames. It's not as important now, I guess, because, uh... It's not as important now because I'm not really doing anything. Huh. It's curious. Anywho. They were placed on a silver dirt board. That is false. Oh. The largest deck gun the Americans use. It's also supposed to be a 6 inch 53 caliber. Uh, gun, not 6 inch 50 caliber. From what I remember, these, uh. These submarines, uh, Nautilus and. Uh, or Narwhal and Nautilus, were originally V5 and V6. Uh, they were laid down, uh. late 20s. Uh, Nautilus was completed, it, or Nautilus was commissioned I think in July 1930 as V6. Nautilus, or Narwhal was commissioned as Z5. Or V5, excuse me. Uh, let me see what else. These were based on designs similar to the uh, U-139 design cruiser submarines built by the Imperial German Navy. Uh, or the, uh, I'm trying to remember. Were they called the Imperial German Navy? It, it, it's the World War One Germany. Was it Imperial Germany? The Imperial German Navy? Or were they called something else? But uh, anyway, these were, uh... These were American submarines based on a similar doctrine. Which is why their, uh, deck gun armor is so much heavier than you would see on other submarines. Nautilus... Narwhal and Nautilus were designed with endurance in mind compared to the earlier v boats uh, which were to, from what I remember, to make fleet speed at the time, which was 21 knots. Uh, Narwhal and Nautilus do not make that speed. I believe they only have a maximum speed. Well, as commission, I think they only, they only made uh, 17 knots. Uh, at the time, uh, when we would take over to them, Nautilus itself, I believe, just finished a engine reef a refit in uh, on the east coast i want to say i think it was on the east coast uh to refit new power plants right was that that refit or was that the refit before in the mid 30s any the, the the point being is we have brand new engines and i believe that increases our outputs we might make 20 knots now on the surface we also carry more torpedoes than most uh, mid-30s era, early th <laughs> interwar era submarines. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, this submarine is from 1930, effectively. So th yeah, this is has a pretty heavy torpedo armament. We carry 16 forward and eight aft, in four forward and two aft tubes. The deck gun will be our primary armament against most enemies. The 50 cal is just there to look pretty. Yeah, yeah, everything's still working. Very good. Uh, we have we have a pretty decent sonar, in my opinion. Our active reaches out to 6,000 yards. It's on the deck on the S-Class boats, so that means it doesn't work beneath the, uh... It's not positioned beneath the waterline, so it does not work, uh... On the surface. A lot of the U-Boat sonars are like this, and, uh... I'm not used to that, because I'm used to this game. Or I'm used to the American Fleet boats, where, uh... They're all below, beneath the waterline. On the surface, so you can listen. 
Yeah, this is our active sonar. 6,100 yards. This passive sonar. Yeah, again, it is, uh... It's mounted above the waterline uh, on S-boats. It's mounted at or below the waterline uh, on all of, on all other fleet boats. I don't know where it physically is on our boat. I imagine it's not I don't actually know where it is on this model. Uh, okay, let's look at our crew. Uh, we don't have any anything to hand out because we haven't done anything yet. Do a little bit of maintenance here. This as is. All right, my cat's freaking out real quick. <laughs> He's freaking out. I gotta go take care of him. I'll be right back.
already. All that set, we're ready to rock and roll, I believe. The war has just begun. So we do have one person who has returned back to port already with 5,000 tons to his name. At least according to our board. Yes. I don't know if the microphone picked him up. There's my cat, Max. Uh, going to make our pre-mission save. Let's see where we're going. Hmm. Alrighty. Ah, infiltration. ever done this before in the stock game. My favorite is the photo recon missions. Uh oh. Cat Max is climbing on stuff. He's falling off of stuff. You okay, big guy? He had enough climbing up on stuff for one evening. Come, come join me in, up on my bed. Nah, he's good. <laughs> he's decided that knocking a bunch of stuff down in my room is sufficient for him, and he, he's gonna go leave and do something else. Anyhow, I, I've done, like, uh, stuff where you sail out and, like, uh, drop off supplies and stuff. This, I think this is the first agent insertion with, uh, like, radio silence and not, not attack stuff within that area. Like, this is a mission I would see, like, in cold waters. And again, we are playing a Narwhal-class submarine. Uh, we're effectively cruiser submarines. We are... I think we displaced 4,000 tons submerged. I think we're, like, 2,300 surfaced, 4,013 submerged. Or is it 4,023 submerged? I don't remember. It, it's it's just over 4,000 submerged. 4,000 tons submerged. The Nautilus itself is actually pretty famous. Uh, probably its most famous action that you've heard about is from Battle of Midway as the Nautilus attempted to attack the Kongu-class fast battleship, former battle cruiser Kirishima, with two torpedoes. One, I believe, failed uh, right after launch, and the other failed to detonate. Uh, however, the Japanese attempt to attack the Nautilus... Yes, sir. 
Ended up having significant consequences to the Japanese fleet. I believe specifically the destroyer Arase? Arane? I'm trying to remember. It starts with an A. Also, Max, this is not the time to be mounting my keyboard. Let me press escape before he pushes something on my keyboard and, like, dives our boat. I'm, I'm trying to have story time with the internet, Max. Can I help you? He's hanging out on my bed now. He he will assist me. He's gonna sit next to me and watch. I think he wanted me to stick my legs under the uh, under the blanket so he could lay on top of them. He doesn't like sitting on top of my legs uh, when I don't have a blanket over it. I think that's what he wanted. I mean, I could sit like that. Anywho, back to our story time. Anywho, the uh, Japanese submarine, or the Japanese submarine, the Japanese destroyer that was chasing the Nautilus in its haste to rejoin the fleet ended up producing a lot of, uh, Uh, exhaust from its smokestacks and the SPD flights from the American carrier groups uh, the American task force actually was able to follow the destroyer back to the Japanese fleet and ultimately struck three of the Japanese aircraft carriers Incidentally, I'm, from what I've read, Nautilus attempted to attack one of these wounded carriers. They were at first believed to have attacked the Soryu, but after action reports suggest their attack was against the Kaga, they fired two torpedoes, both of which failed to work correctly. So, no damage was done directly by Nautilus. However, it was kind of hard for the crew to know that, considering they were busy... Uh, well, dealing with the fact that Kaga had just blown up effectively. Uh, after, especially after its bridge was severed from the dive bomb attack uh, beforehand. Let's say it was one of the Kagero class destroyers. I want to say, yeah. I'm going to say, like, Augury. I don't. No, Augury is not right. It's like Arcane or something like that. I could look it up real quick. But I don't want to. I don't want to tab out of the game any longer than I have to. Another thing. Uh, uh, you, this one you may not uh, have known. Uh, well, you've probably seen the picture, but you may not have known who took it. Uh, the picture of the sinking Yamakaze from the periscope of a American submarine that was actually taken from the Nautilus as well. Oh, we're going here. Yeah, I've been here before. Well, in other in other video games I've been here before, but I know which island we're yes, going sir. to. I like this island. <laughs> it's probably a... Uh, I say it's probably a little close, yet I'm going to get closer. Yeah, that should be fine. Right, so I guess where I'm going with this is we have a lot to live up to as the Nautilus. Also, let's hope we don't get shelled by a friendly destroyer like the real Nautilus did. Let's go to our bridge. I don't want to save the game quite yet because I'm a little worried I'm a little too close to port. out here. Yep, there he is. 
Hi. Oh, it's dark. It's probably because I'm playing in a in a window. I'm playing on a 1600 by 900 window. So, the areas of my screen that are not part of the game window are much brighter. And also the TV that I'm using as a, as a monitor, uh, it tends to darken things quite significantly from what I've noticed. So it might be easier for me to see stuff if I pull out my tablet and watch the stream. I wasn't going to save. I'll save anyway. Actually, let's go ahead and look at uh, the port. Sonar is merchant moving away. Although Bearing. I guess we could look at it once Zero. the sun comes Nine. up a little bit. Long range. There's Honolulu. Sonar warship moving away. Bearing one one four. Long range. Now it's a little bit brighter. Let's have a look back at uh, Pearl Harbor. Sweeping. No. Warship. Right. Closing. And Bearing. does not bring up the One, recognition four, manual zero. in polarizing sun. It's not Colorado. Warship. Bearing. One. Four. One. Closing. Okay. I mean, that would make sense. Now 
Nevada was here, December 7th, 1941. There's another submarine, and I believe that's a submarine tender right there. Warship, bearing, one, four, two, closing. Some more submarines. Still a little hard to see this brightness, but I feel like if I wait too much longer, I'm going to be too far away from the poor and it'll de-render. Warship bearing one, four, three, closing. One with offset torpedo launchers instead of the center line ones. And of course, battleship row. Still working on those. All but one of these will be raised. Uh, the one that isn't is the one that's still there to this day, that being Watch the Arizona. Warship, bearing, one, four, four, closing. seen that camouflage configuration for a ship in this game for a merchantman warship bearing one it's cool four, looking five, I've never closing. seen it before sonar is merchant closing bearing one merchant. four two long range got a uh, Clemson or Wix class destroyer here get the wing turret uh, how many tubes offset? Twins, one side is Wix class. Warship bearing one, four, six, closing. See the land stop rendering. Is that another destroyer here. Uh, which one is this? Say Mahan class. Warship bearing one, four, seven, closing with that torp uh, configuration. Five barrels. Not 100% sure on that one. I don't know my American destroyers as well as I could. Another destroyer. Some crew 
cruisers. These are New Orleans class cruisers. At least these two are. And then that's, I think that's an Atlanta right there. Yeah. This is an Atlanta. Warship bearing one, four, eight, closing. That model's quite right, actually. I was pretty sure the Atlanta had super firing all the way forward, all the way aft. But it doesn't really matter for this game. We have a cruiser here. A Brooklyn class. It's got the Brooklyn secondary arrangement, so this is not Helena, who was damaged in the attack in Pearl Harbor. It's a hospital ship. This is the first time I've actually seen a hospital ship in this game. So, get to have a good idea of what these look like. Warship bearing one, four, nine, closing. Yep, and there's Battleship Row again. So let me zoom out so you can see the layout of the base. It might be a little bit more familiar if I pull it out. Start using those hotkeys uh, in Saw Hunter 3. So I wasn't very familiar with them, so you know, that was a good opportunity to learn. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Not until the not until the port derenders. make another save now that we're clear of the port. I always forget the space there. Right, let's carry on. Next day we'll probably be at midway if the game doesn't crash. Merchant, closing, bearing. The only enemy we could possibly find out here, I think, well, that we can reasonably expect to find out here would be an enemy submarine. Is the Panama Canal is modeled? I could probably sail through there if I really wanted to. I could resupply. I could sail all the way back to New York. I've got a base here I can resupply. I could resupply then. Uh, Green Rock. And then I could do Operations of the Atlantic. <clears throat> I 
believe I have enough range, I could probably make it around. Well, is uh, oh uh, yeah, the Suez is yeah, the Suez is modeled. I could go through the Suez and resu resupply in Fremantle. Um. And I'll be refueling at midway. Sonar in contact. Merchant, closing. Nagasaki Sesebo We might we might go say hello Of course, uh, Kagoshima. Go visit. Or if we really wanted to be daring, I don't think I could sail through there surfaced. I think there's coastal guns there. But we could go visit Hiroshima. I I have personally played around here in Kure. I've personally played around here in stock. Uh, my preferred infiltration route is through here. <clears throat> Sail up through here. Uh, and then we'll submerge through here until, uh, until we get right about here. Go in on the surface. Uh, wait for darkness. Go in on the surface. Uh, attack Hiroshima. And Cure, if uh, if we can get there. Uh, other other big port facilities, of course, would be Osaka, where Kobe is. New message received. The amount of aircraft we'd probably run into over there would be crazy, and uh, I don't exactly trust this 50 cal to shoot anything down. Unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know, I'm still trying to figure out how vulnerable aircraft are to our air defenses in, uh, in this mod. In stock, I felt pretty confident about being able to shoot stuff down. Especially single attackers. Uh, is that a lost talk model?
I don't. I, I guess I'm, I'm asking that because I'm not sure how likely I would be to find Soviet fleet units over here. <clears throat> All right, let's look at this radio message. S-36, SS-141, lost, scuttled, after running aground, Japanese land forces have pushed into Burma. So Burma is over here. In this area. Ah, we're almost to midway. Very good. I would like to turn north to uh, resupply. Oh, goodness. Our max speed or max uh, range now eleven thousand seven hundred and fourteen nautical miles. Okay, I can make it back to midway. Ten knots is my cruising speed. Oh my goodness, it's dark. Like, oh my goodness, it's dark. See the water. Oh wait, I made my turn. Yeah, midway's just off my front. I might have to turn up the brightness a little bit of, of the game. Water, high water. How far away are we from Midway? Ah, uh, we're a few miles. I'm gonna get so a little, little bit close. Closing. Oh, Three, okay. Nine. Long range. Let me get a little bit closer. Leaning up to try and see. 